Hello, today I would like to show you how to do a little um, kind of follow camera. So we're starting out with this, where you have a character with a little controller and they can move around, but you can see the camera doesn't follow it. And what we're going to end up with is this. See how the camera follows and it stays at a fixed angle in a third person perspective and um, it smoothly moves to the position. Okay, and here we are back with the camera not following. So there's a few ways to do this, and I think the most natural way is to um, provide a kind of a, a node that serves the target position for the camera, rather than trying to do kind of direct math. You say, hey, here's this node, stay on top of it, and while well, well, staying in your, your current you know, direction and orientation. So to do that, um, so here's the here's the setting. Um, I'm going to create a new node here called um, you know, camera position target, which is the position we want the camera to target. And it's centered on the player because it's going to be moving with the player. But let's say, um, there's a few different ways we can kind of like maintain the um, position, but one easy way is just we have our we have our camera, and this is kind of the preview camera. And let's say that this is what the um, the perspective that we want to keep. So you can keep your camera position target and just kind of move it up to the position where the camera currently is, or you know close enough so that we can see a little bit of an animation when when it starts up. So the problem with this as it is, is it rotates with the player. Um, the player is actually what has the script. And when you see it rotate, it rotates. Um, we won't be able to see it, but when you're, when you're rotating like this, the camera is now, the, the camera position target is gonna be moving all over the place. It's gonna, you know, now it's in the top left of the corner of the screen and now it's in the top right. So what we wanna do is, you know, think about what, Think about how the camera is looking right now. We want the position to stay the same regardless of the rotation of the player. And the simplest way to do that is to, um, well, to, to update the position every tick. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick and reset the position back to where we want to go instead of having it rotate. Something else you could possibly do is not parenting this to the player, but I really like the idea of, well, it's, really, it's so closely related to the player, let's just attach it to the player. Let's create a new script. Um, this is fine. And um, let's code up what I mean. So what, one of the things we want to keep track of is the um, the offset, like where where the camera starts out where, where, where the um the camera position target starts out relative to the player and what i mean is um if you look in the at this view you can see the camera position target is you know four meters up and three meters back and we want it to stay that way but not in local coordinates but in global coordinates so we can do that so the first thing we want to do is kind of hold on to that, that local offset. And I'm just going to say var offset vector three. And on startup, we're going to say offset equals position, because this position here is what we want to, to maintain at all times. Um, we also want to say, um, you know, what is, what is that relative to? So th this also has its own target, which is another node 3D, which is, um, but well, what is the target of, what is this thing tracking? Well, it's just tracking the player. So we can actually just say, um, you know, target equals parent, get parent node 3D. So now we know the offset, we know the target, and what we want to do here is update the global position because the local position is 
um, you know, it's correct. It doesn't change tick to tick normally, but we want the global position to be fixed because the character is rotating and normally the global position will be moving with the rotation of the player. So, so we just say something like this. So now the global position, every, every frame will be, um, uh, updated to that of the, that of the same. So you can't really see it, but this I believe will work and it'll stay, you know, as this moves or rotates, this glo global position of this thing isn't changing. And we set the offset at the start, so that's not changing. The position isn't changing, so it should kind of stay tracking this direction. So the next thing we need to do is have the camera follow it. So let's create a new script here. Let's rename, let's rename the camera main camera first, just to make this a little bit easier. New script, main camera, class name, main camera. And we have two things that we want. We want to be like, well, what is its target? And how fast is it going to get there? So we have target, again, node 3D, and um, this is, this will make more sense in a second, but lerp speed. So what we do now is what, what we're trying to do is every frame move the main camera a little bit closer to the camera position target. And so when you just have, um, so we want to start with the global position equals, um, okay, let me, let me walk through a couple, a couple of kind of alternatives here. Um, global position equals target at global position. This um, works, but it moves there instantaneously. I don't know for sure this will be glitchy or not. Oh, of course, um, you have to set the target first because obviously that's not gonna work otherwise. Of course, these need to be exported. Okay, so now in this view, we can just, well, I guess it doesn't need to be this view, but we take the camera target and that is now our um, main camera's target. Okay, this is a bit unpleasant and not quite what we want. And there's a couple of reasons for that. But for starters, um, one thing that we know we want is we know we don't want to instantaneously teleport. Um, that's just going to be nauseating for various reasons. So let's instead say, well, we want our global position to lerp in the direction of the target's global position. So this will move us, you know, eventually there. And we, um, this is kind of an abuse of, of lerp, but this is also a very common case. And it, basically this is just saying, um, move us 10% of the way. Well, okay. If we set, if we set this to 0.1, this says move us 10% of the way from global position to target global position every frame. Um, because zero means 0% of the way and, and one means 100% of the way. So this means move us 10% of the way every turn, every tick. So now if you move the person, they stay, um, you know, camera stays on top of them. Great. There's one thing that's a little bit weird though, is it's kind of jittery. It, why, why is it kind of lurching around like this? And this took me a little while to figure out, but um, the player script, this is the def this is, um, there's, this is added, but uh, this is modified, but otherwise this is the out of the box player controller that um, Godot will generate for you. If you, um, when, when you attach a script to a um, a character controller. However, it runs in physics process and physics process runs usually like, I don't know, not quite at the same rate as the frame rate, but it's usually faster. Um, so what's happening is it's updating the velocity and it's moving around a bit in the physics process, but our camera position target is updated in the regular um, frame rate process, the, re the render process. 
So if we just change this to physics, that means this thing's position will be updated almost exactly or exactly as often as the player script. So now if we run it again, now it's nice and smooth. Now um, it happens to work. Okay, um, that's it for now. Uh, I hope this was helpful, but um, if not, or if it was, let me know in the comments and I'll see if there's anything else I can change or, or add in a subsequent video. Thanks for watching.